Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here and welcome to today's video. Today's video is kind of the next progression in the Linux journey for a lot of people. Um, it is of course Arch Linux. Um, mm, so this is Arco Linux. It's built and based off of Arch. It's not a pure Arch install that I've done myself. Arco Linux is arguably the best entry point into the world of using Arch. It's completely different from Debian, Ubuntu or Mint. For me personally, um, Arch is a convoluted mess. It really is. Um, there's lots of memes around the internet, you know, BTW, I use Arch. Oh, so fucking what? <laughs> Who cares what you use? Arch Linux is super fast. You won't um, find another operating system that runs this fast. Well, maybe Gen 2. Well, maybe Linux from scratch. Well, and, and, and. Maybe Slackware. <laughs> this is running off the little 128 gigabyte SSD. It is supporting the gorgeous cinnamon desktop interface um, so we've now done Linux Mint with cinnamon we've done Ubuntu with cinnamon and now we've got Arch Linux with cinnamon mm, okay um, for those of you that love Arch Linux absolutely fine I get it Arch Linux for me was back in the day um, created by a guy called Eric Dubois who's a lovely guy um, and it was a great learning path into Arch Linux. For me personally, Arch Linux has now turned into exactly what Arch is, a convoluted mess. It's supposed to be the ministry of Arch Linux. It's the university of Arch. So if you go to the Arch Linux webpage, this is what you're greeted with, which to me is an unfathomable convoluted mess that's just me personally so if you're a user that's currently using Linux Mint and you come to this website mightily confused dazed and all over the place you're going to be so okay they recommend that you start here so let's click on BIOS UEFI now the website itself is great in that all the information you could ever need or ever want about Arch Linux slash Arch Linux is here for you. It's all here. But as well as the meme BTW I use Arch, there's also another meme and that is RTFM. Read the fucking manual. And if you're going to use Arch Linux, you're going to need to read. And it's fucking endless. So I hope your brain is not like mine. Mine is a damaged full sponge. <laughs> There's just no room in my brain for any new data whatsoever. All my little cabinet drawers are full. Yours had better be fucking empty. <laughs> just saying. Because you're going to need it. Okay, so that's enough bashing Arch Linux. It is a great operating system. It's super, super fast. Um, it's a matter of opinion whether an Arch Linux install on your computer will run for five years without issue or whether it'll break on a weekly basis. My personal advice to you if you're new and you're going to use Arch Linux, <clears throat> from my past experience, is when you go into your software manager, whatever that may be, do not do this. Do not go to preferences. Do not put your system password in. I think that's the wrong one, actually. Yeah, at the wrong keys. And do not go to third party and do not enable AUR support. The AUR, which stands for Arch User Repository, is a wonderful, wonderful repository of software. 
uploaded by everyone, anyone, and who the fuck knows who. Everybody around the internet, and certainly on YouTube, is banging on about how bad snaps are, flat packs, because you don't know, A, who's created them, and B, what software is contained within them. And yet I see brand new Arch users freely enable the AUR, the Arch user repositories, and start in, installing software from it. Two main reasons I recommend you don't, as a new user, use the AUR. Number one, you don't know what the software is, where, where it's come from or who's made it. And number two, it could potentially break your system. That's just my personal advice. Take it on board and heed it or ignore it. It's entirely up to you. The Arch Linux experience um, is an interesting one. Um, as I say, if you are going to try Arch, I would heartily recommend Arch Linux as your first entry point because everything is contained within the website. Eric Dubois himself has done hundreds, if not thousands, of videos on Arch Linux slash Arch Linux. Um, and you'll find it a valuable resource. Also, the Arch Wiki, if you're good at reading, is another great, great place to start learning. Um, now, Arch Linux <coughs> comes with a basic install um, and an advanced install. It's all the same install as Calamaris, but if you go for the advanced install, it allows you to pick everything from your internet browser to your desktop manager and only install what you want. So it's very cool. If, like me, you don't want to sit there for three hours pissing around, <laughs> I know I'm a lazy shit, and I just go for the basic install. Um, which I think you'll find is more than acceptable. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I don't personally recommend Arch Gen 2 Linux from scratch Slackware. I'll never, ever, ever recommend Fedora to anybody because I disagree with the parent company Red Hat's policies. But that's just me personally. OpenSUSE is another good one. But if you're just a basic user, stick with Linux Mint or Ubuntu Cinnamon um, or MX Linux. You can't go wrong. You re there's no rhyme or reason for you to start looking at things like Arch Linux or Gen 2 or Linux. There's just no reason for you to do it unless you're an enthusiast. Um, that wants to put that time into doing all this sort of stuff. And if you do, then great. Knock yourself out. Go fill your boots. For the ordinary, average, everyday, run-of-the-mill ho-hum user, it's just literally not necessary. But hey, this is just my 10 cents worth. You may disagree. Arch Linux is beautiful. It is fast. It does have access to some of the the latest stuff available on Linux. Everything from super low latency kernels to um, the latest drivers, the latest versions of software, etc. And as I say, if it's your thing, well, go knock yourself out. Personally, I think you'll spend more time trying to figure stuff out, fix stuff and breaking stuff than what you will actually use in your computer. Uh, please don't worry, my beautiful, beautiful MX Linux is completely safe. Uh, I have to say, you know, Arch Linux slash Arch Linux is very nice. It's very beautiful. It's very modern. It's very fast. It's very um, convoluted. It's very memed. Um, so, yeah, um, the, the 
Linux ladder is interesting, you know, because um, new users tend to go for Ubuntu or Mint and or MX Linux, you know, uh, they are looked down on by purist Debian users who themselves are looked down on by Arch users, who themselves are looked down on by Gen2 users, who themselves are looked down on by Slackware users, who themselves are looked down on by Linux from Scratch users, and it goes on and on and on. Um, if you want me to be honest, I think it's all a load of bollocks. You just need to use what works for you. But nevertheless, I will try and... Um, showcase one of each of the operating systems on the channel so that you can make an informed choice of what's right for you but again my personal recommendation is if you are going to go into Arch Linux please go the Arch Linux way um, because it's kind of the Arch wiki simplified so there's nothing on Arca Linux that you can't get off the Arch Wiki. It's just that you need a degree in fucking hieroglyphics and hours of reading time to get that information. Here it's much more condensed um, and it's available in a much more understandable format. Nevertheless, nevertheless, there is still a shit ton for you to get your head around. So... The overriding message, I guess, from me is Arch Linux is fantastic, but please don't go into it under the fantasy illusion that it's going to be another Linux Mint or Ubuntu, because it's not. It's a different set of commands. You can't do sudo apt install here, just saying. So do... <sighs> To try and summarise Arch Linux up, yes, it's bleeding edge. That's the upside. Everything is the absolute latest cutting edge version. The downside is it can bust quicker than you can blink your eyes. And then you're in the shit because you've never heard of Shiroot. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. So please be careful. Arch Linux, fantastic. I love it. I think it's great. But it's, for me for the advanced user despite wonderful people like eric dubois trying the best to simplify it and make it available to all just because you can doesn't mean you should just saying anyway please put your comments underneath the video i'd be very interested to hear your 10 penneth worth thanks for watching uh, please rate comment subscribe thumb the videos up or down I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.